20세기 최고의 성악가 호세 카레라스 신이 내린 목소리 플라시도 도밍고 그들은 성악가로서 최고의 자리를 놓고 한치 양보도 허락하지 않았다 특히 호세 카레라스는 스페인 카탈로니아 출생이었고 플라시도 도밍고는 마드리드 출생이었는데 두 지역은 역사적으로 감정의 골이 깊었다 결국 두 사람은 숙명적인 라이벌 관계였던 것이다 그런데 호세 카레라스가 플라시도 도밍고 앞에 무릎을 꿇었다 그가 플라시도 도밍고에게 무릎을 꿇을 수밖에 없었던 이유는 1984년 스페인. Whenever I do a concert, I bump into you. You're right. But these days, seems to me like every show is getting a little bit similar. A man needs to make some changes in order to progress. <웃음> How foolish. That is why you're told to be shallow. You have a lot to learn yet. Domingo, Domingo, Domingo. Sir, you have been nominated to the Grammy Awards. And I hear from people that you're gonna win this year. Oh, really? Okay, nothing is set in stone. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Domingo, I am 100% sure. You should see the crowds. They are going crazy. You are going to be awarded again. Oh, well. You are going to win for the fourth time. Four times. <laughs> Please, it's hard enough to win one Grammy. I don't think the fourth is guaranteed at all. Uh, don't you agree? Oh, totally. Unless the entire Grammy ceremony has gone crazy, They're not going to give you another one this time. <laughs> Three little girls from school are we Filled to the brim with girlish glee Three little girls from school are... Sir, the telegram has just arrived. It's from the Grammy Award. Has it? When's the ceremony? Well, this time... Domingo... is going to be awarded again. What? After all, the Grammy has gone to Domingo. Well, I certainly wish to thank everyone here. This is truly an honor. And may I say that in this day and age... If there were no Domingo on this earth, no, no. At least if he wasn't living in the same age as me, then I would be up there instead. And thank you so much again for this wonderful honor. Ha ha ha! No! Recently, I've dreamt of killing him several times already. Sir, are you right? Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's okay. <sighs> Sir, don't be bothered too much. I'm sure next time you will. Who's bothered? It's okay. It doesn't matter. Sir, we have to go. It's time. Show time.
40 years of my life, Sir. working so hard to become the best tenor. It's Likumia. I'm sorry. Now, I have a long break. <coughs> Screaming out in pain instead of singing for beauty. <coughs> Sir, there are numerous delinquent accounts here. We have the surgeries, we have the transplants, we have the medicine. These need to be paid. It's now totaling over $40,000. Mm, I see. I'm sorry about that. You know, he has been sick for so long that um, it's kind of hard to manage the expense. But anyway, I will see what I can do about the money. And uh, once again, I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm sorry. Please take care of it. I'm sorry about that. Struggling against the disease for too long caused me financial difficulties. And Domingo looks still so alive and well. It even made me feel helpless more and more. What are you doing? I don't need the pills anymore. Living, surviving, like this. I have no interest in this thing. I, I've been such a fool. And now, now I know. Sir, someone is visiting you. It's been established just recently to specialize in the treatment of cure for leukemia. And since we heard about your case, we thought that you'd be a, a, a ideal candidate for our program. Sir, I think they want to pay for all your expenses. Really? Yes, that is correct. From now on, you don't have to worry about anything. Just focus on getting better and receiving your treatment. And just so you know, we would love to hear you sing again and personally. I'm a big fan of yours. <laughs> Sir, everybody wants to see you back on stage. You gotta think about them. Get out there as soon as you can, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now I have my reason not to give up. Uh, uh. Congratulations, you are perfectly cured. <laughs> Last, my real dream came true. My real dream came true. My song starts again. Senor Coelas, welcome back. It is good to see you again. I do worry though, can you sing with that body of yours? I wouldn't want you to make any mistakes tonight. So you want me to make mistakes then, do you? Well... <laughs> you should know something. Mm. I'm not dead yet.
first of all, just let me say it is our greatest honor to have you here as our sponsor for our foundation. We really, really appreciate it. Your foundation enabled me to get back up on the stage one more time. I owe everything that I have to you, and you have no need to honor me. I understand, but let me say also, we are very, very proud of you. And just to make everything official, could you please sign on the last sheet? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. This can't be true. I'm sorry? How is his name on here? 놀랍게도 그동안 호세를 물심양면으로 지원해줬던 재단의 설립자는 플라시도 도밍고였다. 호세 카레라스의 투병 소식을 듣게 된 플라시도 도밍고는 호세를 돕기 위해 백혈병 재단을 설립했다. 그런데 Now, remember that the founder's name is to remain anonymous. <sighs> this man, Jose, he suffered so deeply in his body and in his heart. I just don't want to hurt his pride. Okay, I, I just don't understand why you help him so much. <laughs> well, I'm merely helping a fellow artist and a very good rival. Plasto Domingo. 자신이 설립자라는 사실을 숨기고 호세 카레라스를 도왔던 것이다. I was such a petty-hearted man. It is so wonderful to have you back on the stage. 이러한 사실을 알게 된 호세 카레라스는 도밍고의 무대에 올라 감사함을 표했다고 한다. 플라시도 도밍고가 비밀스럽게 세웠다는 재단은 아직까지 공개되지 않고 있다. 하지만 호세 카레라스는 재기에 성공한 이후 백혈병 환자들을 위한 재단을 설립했고 플라시도 도밍고는 호세 카레라스가 세운 이 재단에 거액을 기부했다고 전해진다. 그리고 두 사람은 여전히 우정을 나누며 세계의 음악사의 길이 남을 명공연을 함께해오고 있다.